It looks something like you. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I love glowy makeup. I love it. It reminds me of JLo. I did a glowy video like, I don't know, three years ago, but I've just been really into healthy, glowy, beautiful skin so much lately. And I, the other day, posted a story on my Instagram. I talk about this a little bit in my video and y'all went crazy. And the thing is, is that I didn't have any makeup on at all. It's because my skin looked good because I just got micro needling done. Anyways, I'll talk about that here in a few minutes, but it inspired me to film this video because so many of you guys love the glowy skin too. And so I created this look right here for you guys today. And I think it's so pretty for end of summer, but it's great going into fall too because your skin looks so hydrated and moisturized and glowy and shimmery and just beautiful. So if you want to see how I got this exact look right here, keep watching. Okay, first off for a glowy look, because it's end of summer, I want to look bronze, right? So I'm using the D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine, Sunshine Drops. These are from Drunk Elephant. I love Drunk Elephant. It's an amazing skincare line. Um, this is new to me, but I, it's amazing. It's literally sunshine in a bottle. Like, you see the, the drop right there? It's basically like a tiny bit of bronzer that you add to whatever it is that you want to be bronze or want to apply to your skin. So if you're wearing no face makeup at all, just add a drop of this to your moisturizer or to your serum or whatever. And it's just going to add a little bit of like bronzy glow. They're incredible. So I wanted to do a no foundation routine, but as you can see, I have this guy going on here. I have this guy. I had a really stressful week. I had, I got micro needling done one week ago and my skin this past week has looked the most incredible that it's looked in my adult life. But then I had a lot of things pop up in my personal life that have been super stressful and my skin is showing it. So if that hadn't have happened, those things, then my skin would still look great, but it doesn't. So we're going to have to use some foundation. So I'm using the Pacifica. This is the, um, a light clean foundation. I love this foundation so much. It's drugstore. I think it's $14.99. It's incredible. It is oil free, anti shine, and a satin finish. It's 100% vegan, cruelty free. It's amazing. There's no parabens, no petroleum, no phthalates, no formaldehyde. It's all the good stuff without all the bad stuff. You know what I mean? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand like that, and then I'm going to add in a drop of the bronze and then I'm going to mix it up with my foundation brush and then apply it to my skin. Now if I wasn't broken out, I would just totally skip the foundation and apply the bronze, the bronze drops, the drunk elephant ones with some serum and show you guys. So once my face clears up, I'm going to do a no foundation makeup look because a lot of you guys have young, beautiful skin and you don't need foundation. And honestly, this last week I haven't needed it. This week I posted on my Insta stories um, and I was just talking to, to you guys about, I don't even know what, but I got a ton of DMs about the makeup look that I was wearing. And it was so funny because I wasn't wearing any face makeup at all, except for a tiny little bit of powder on my T-zone and then a little bit of bronzer and blush and then a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes. It's because my skin was looking so good after micro needling. I, I like, it's gonna be become like just a regular thing for me because it makes your skin look so amazing. While this is still tacky, I'm gonna do a couple of things. First off, I'm going to erase my dark circles and I haven't blended this in entirely. So I'm just taking some peach corrector and popping that right where my dark circles are. and I'll blend this out in a minute. But do you see how like flawless and glowy that sheen is because it's a satin finish? That foundation, like, it's incredible. Okay, I'm going to use some anti-red. I just dropped my Derma Blend in the green and it's powder, but then when you touch it to your skin, it turns to cream, it's so cool. I've talked about it before. And I'm going to put it right onto that spot. It is so sore, oh my gosh. And anywhere else I have some redness, I have a little bit right there too. Typically what I do is I do color correcting before I do foundation, but because this one is so bad, I'm double coating it. So basically I'm doing foundation, color correction, and then foundation. So I'm just taking whatever's left over on my brush and I'm stippling it. Stippling, is it stippling or stippling? That's a word I probably should know as a makeup artist. 
and just pouncing that into my skin. So once I'm done with the brush, I go in with my damp beauty blender and that's gonna help take a little bit of that shine away because I feel like a foundation brush does a great job of ap applying, applicating, applying the foundation, but I feel like this does the best job at getting that finish, that airbrushed looking finish. Do you see like how I have just like this natural glowy bronze? It is all about this combination right here. This foundation's amazing. I'm in a 27 WM, so I'm a 27 warm medium. And then this, I, I believe it only comes in the one shade. And it's it's tinted with cocoa extract, which I think is so cool because it's just a natural. Both of these are, are natural products and I believe that they're both totally clean products. Could not rave about them enough. Okay, now that I've got my base set, I didn't use a primer today. What I did was I used a serum instead because my, my the skin my skin is so aggravated that I didn't I wanted to first of all, I don't want to put too many layers on in the summertime because that then you're you just start to look cakey and that's not what I want to do at all. So, to be totally honest, if I had my choice, I wouldn't be wearing foundation at all, but just because of this nasty pimple that's showing up, I'm going to have to wear it. I'm going to use some concealer under my eyes. This is the Joa Dark Circle concealer and what shade am I in this light ivory I'm gonna put it right there and I'm gonna put a little bit on my lid instead of a whatchamacallit what's the word I'm looking for eyeshadow primer that's the word I'm looking for I'm taking the my concealer brush and taking off that peach corrector because I don't want that on there I'll wash this brush actually when I'm done because I didn't mean to use this for the peach corrector. I used the wrong brush. This is my concealer brush. It's not as precise as I like it to be for color correcting. Also, can we talk about this mirror really quickly? This mirror is amazing. It is the Riki Riki. I keep showing it to you guys, but you're probably looking at the, the camera, which is weird, but this is the Riki Riki mirror and I have their full size, which is incredible, but Origin sent this to me and it's battery operated and it's got so much light which is amazing and it's got a finger holes like ring holders it's amazing i love this thing but it really helps when you're traveling even just every day i use it every day okay so i'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and pop that into my skin next i'm using the joa this is the truly yours uh full cover concealer i don't know if they still make this one or not because when i stopped into cvs the other day to, to get more concealer because I'm getting low on it. I saw this one, but not this one. So I need to go into a different CVS and make sure they have it because I am addicted to this concealer. But I'm just taking this and really lightening the, the kind of like the outside perimeter of my eye. So really, I, I want the light to reflect so that it's going to kind of help cancel out the appearance of the dark circles. And I'm gonna take the rest of this concealer and not just cover the pimple, on my chin, but mine's right in that crease, which is kind of convenient because I can put this all along my, my chin crease like this and then highlight down there, uh, down here to kind of reflect off and hopefully it will really trick the eye into forgetting that I have a pimple there. Uh, using my beauty blender now and I'm just gonna work that into my skin. Using the Essence Brighten Up Pressed Banana Powder. I love this powder so much. I just use my beauty blender and take up a, a good amount and just dab that on under the eye. I'm not as strict about creating a, a triangle under the eye as most beauty YouTubers are. I just, I don't really believe in the whole you gotta have a triangle. I just really focus on the dark circles under my eyes. I am going to very soon ask one of my girlfriends, maybe possibly my mom, to let me give them a makeover on camera so I can show you guys makeup for different face shapes. Um, I just think that'd be really fun. Now I'm using the Magic Powder from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this powder so much. And I'm going to apply it to my T-zone. Um, I'm going translucent because I don't really need any extra shade, or not shade, but color on my, what do you want to call it, T-zone. I'm just using this for shine prevention. I have a new powder I want to pick up and try for my T-zone. And if it's good, I'll post about it so you guys can know about it. But anyways, I'm doing this. And then I'm going to take extra and 
put it under the eyes to bake a little bit. While I'm baking, I'm gonna go ahead and take some bronzer. This is the number seven golden sand bronzer. I love this so much. I actually posted this on my Instagram last week. It is such an amazing matte bronzer, especially for a drugstore. And I'm just going to loosely work that into my crease. We're going for a glowy look here. So we're gonna wanna use shades that help us look more tan which is why I love using bronzer in the crease. I feel like it really helps to add more depth, but in a natural, like sun-kissed way. For eyeshadow, I'm using the color pop. This is the Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. Look at these shades, they're beautiful. I can't remember if I've done a tutorial showing these or not, but this has been my go-to palette now since May or June. I love it so much. Um, let's see, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna go a little bit of Work It, which is a nice matte yellowy camel tan. And I'm gonna take that about, mm, starting about one third of the way into the eye and put it right in the center. Next, I'm gonna take West Side, which is a matte, more of a reddish brown. As you can see, it's much darker, much more pigmented. Put it on the outside crease, or crease, outside corner. As you can see, we got dark into like more of a yellowy and then nothing on the inside corner. So I'm gonna go into Catch Me, which is a matte cream. And do it like that. So underneath, when you're using eyeshadow under your eye, so your lower lash line, you wanna start darker, closer, and then work outward on the outside layers lighter. So I'm gonna start with the darkest color first, which is the west side. Get right in there with it. And then I'm gonna go into the Work It, which is a little bit lighter. And honestly, you should be using different brushes to do this, but I'm being lazy because I don't wanna walk across the room, which is really like two steps. Okay, so I started darker and then I worked my way out. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy shader brush and just loosely, not loosely, but lightly blend those shades together for just a really pretty ombre effect because I don't want any distinct lines. Okay, so do you see how the dark color ends at the crease right there? I wanna work that up, so I'm taking my fluffy shader brush and going back in with that west side, and I'm going to work that up into the crease a little bit more. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of this side to side right here, which is a foiled shimmer, and it's just, it's incredible. Take a tiny bit on my pinky, like that, and just touch the inside corner of my eye. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, early morning, which is the shimmery gold, and I'm gonna press it right here into the center of my lid. Oh gosh, could you die? That's so pretty. And then if you don't want a distinct line right there around the edges, just take your brush and loosely, just like lightly, not loose. I keep saying loosely, so pretty. I'm gonna throw on some mascara and I will be right back. I went ahead and threw my brows on because nothing new to see here. I'm using my same brow powder from Urban Decay. I'm using a little bit of, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze myself up. I'm gonna use a little bit of my number seven bronzer. For blush, I'm using Milani. This is Luminoso. Used it a million times on this channel because it's the best, I love it. So what I'm doing actually is I'm gonna take a little bit of this and a little bit of my bronzer combined because I want more of a glowy, sun-kissed look. And then I'm gonna use some highlighter, still using the Becca one from Khloe Kardashian and Malika. I'm just gonna highlight, highlight it up. So this is where the glowiness comes in. So I'm gonna focus right here on the top of my cheekbone, but then I'm gonna take it around to really have that pretty highlight. So kind of like a she, a, a she, yeah, C shape. But I really am focusing right here. And then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use the very edge of my highlighter brush and I'm gonna get right under my brow. And then I'm gonna do a little bit above the brow, just a light dusting. And now this is why I was talking about with the pimple, is I'm going to really focus on the very highest point of my chin to draw the light and I'm just lightly touching. And same thing down the edge of my nose, not edge, bridge. I actually like to highlight my nose lately before I contour it, so I'm just going back in with that matte bronzer. I'm going down the edges, 
I'm gonna connect up here to my brow, which gives the illusion of a very natural contour. Now contouring your nose gets trickier at the edge because it depends on what you wanna do to it. So I don't like to put highlighter on the, the tip of my nose because that would draw attention to it and make my nose look larger because of the type of size and shape of the nose that I, that God blessed me with. So I'm gonna take whatever's left over on my brush here and I'm going to go down kind of like in a V shape. And then also go under my, my chin, not my chin, my lower lip. I'm being careful to, to steer clear of the pimple because I don't want to draw attention to the pimple. I want the precise application right here. And then I'm just gonna use my damp beauty blender to blend it all out. I just lined my lips with the Laura Mercier Baby Lips and then I outlined a little bit more with a nude liner from Maybelline. I've been using a dual liner because it helps to create the illusion of larger lips. Um, I'm overlining, but I'm doing it in a very precise way. I'm, I'm, I'm being very choosy about where I overline. Um, using Yash from MAC lipstick. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video dedicated to overlining and how to make your lips look larger because I have I was not blessed with large lips. So I've learned all the tricks in, uh, to making them look larger using makeup. I'm just putting um, Becca on top. This is in Bare. It's a really beautiful shade. So I'm pretty much done now with my face. I would go ahead and spray it, but I'm gonna put my magnetic lashes on real quick because I've just been wearing them every day. I've gotten so used to wearing them every day that now I don't even like to do my makeup without putting them on. Like they're just a part of my normal routine, whether I'm wearing a lot of makeup or a little bit of makeup, because I just feel like it just finishes my look and it's kind of the cheater's way of getting lash extensions. So I'm gonna pop those on really quick. Okay, got my lashes on. I put a little bit of liner under them for some tight lining. I use my Lash Paradise. I love this liner so much because of the marker tip. It's amazing. Um, I think this, this, that this look is so pretty and glowy and your skin just looks so healthy. It's the combination, I'm telling you, of this foundation with this, um, these bronzer drops, but I am gonna film a tutorial as soon as my skin clears up of a no foundation look that I wear when I'm like running out the door and I've got errands to do, but I wanna still put, put look put together. And these drops will be part of it, but then there will be no foundation. And I'm telling you, I can, the, the combination of products that I've put together to do that look just gives you a really peachy, really clean, healthy looking face and it's amazing. So that's gonna be coming soon. But this look I feel like is just really beautiful. Um, it's great for going into fall because of like the, the, the shimmer, but the, the skin just looks so glowy and shimmery and pretty and I'm just, I'm obsessed. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below what video you wanna see from me next. And don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLanter.com and come visit me over on Instagram because Monday through Friday I have a series up on my Instagram not channel, but stories every single day. Like Monday, we do Makeup Monday. Tuesday, we do Try On Tuesday and so on and so forth. And it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys come over there and follow me as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love y'all so much. Au revoir.